Hi, thank you. I am Albert Molina. I am from Barcelona, Spain. Uh, and my, my English isn't that good, so sorry. The safe box is the, is the main architecture of the Pascal coin, and it is a, a deletable blockchain. Well, all, all started in, in 2013, 2014, when I, I discovered it, not the blockchain, I discovered Bitcoin. I hope you, you do. So I, I tried to, to solo mine and to win money, but that was impossible. And then I was thinking, uh, how is it possible to win money in, in Bitcoin? How it works? That was the question. That was my, my, uh, my first main interest. The blockchain are blocks that each block has a reference of the, of the previous one. This is a hash. A hash is an information that if you change something inside this block, then the hash uh, uh, value will change and will not be equal to the next one. So that's important because it uh, makes the blockchain strong. So each block needs the hash of the previous one. And each block has at last at least uh, one transaction. This is the, the Coinbase transaction. That is the cr transaction that creates, creates the money inside the blockchain. We can have blocks with different size, with only one transaction, or with uh, thousands of, tra of tra transactions. And the question is, where is the money in Bitcoin? The money is inside the transactions. So if we want to know where is uh, uh, the money, we must search in each block and read all the information and we will find where is the money. And the, transaction, uh, the Bitcoin transaction is made with an input that must be equal to the previous transaction. For example, if we have the block number three, we have uh, only one transaction, that is the Coinbase. If we want to spend this money, we need to create a new transaction, for example, in block number 25, that will identify as the input of the money, the block number three transaction. And then we can send these uh, 50 Bitcoins to uh, Alice, John, and Megan. But we need to reference the previous one where the money is stored. That's easy to explain. You think that uh, your son or your mother will understand this? That's impossible. I tried it and it was impossible. And also, how to know the current balance of an address? We must search all unspent transactions where the output equals the address we are searching for. For example, if we see this uh, address, this is the, the Genesis block, the Genesis address of the Bitcoin was used by Satoshi. He has uh, received uh, these bitcoins, and the final balance is the same value. So there is no any of these inputs have been spent. If we search, for example, another address, this one, we will see that it has received a lot of bitcoins, but cur currently. There is, there is only 10 bitcoins. So some of the inputs have been spent. OK. That's not what I, what I was expecting when I discovered Bitcoin. Why is it not similar to a traditional bank account? 
where in a bank account we, we have a short number, not a, a very long short address, where every operation uh, is like uh, the bank transfer with a description or reference. And why we must search for all unspent transaction to know the address of a balance? Do you think that our banks are working like Bitcoin? No. So I was thinking, and also important, can I know an address balance without downloading the entire blockchain? That's impossible. At least we need to download uh, all the unspent transactions, but that's a lot of information. Otherwise, we cannot know which, which is the balance of an address because, because we, we must search any block of the blockchain. And I think, it, uh, can we do something better? I think yes. And it, I will show you what. Here with you, the, the safe box. The safe box is the bank accounting system. On each new block of the blockchain, so we have a blockchain like Bitcoin, of course. We are a blockchain technology. We just generate five new accounts to a new structure that we call the safe box. For example, block number zero, the Genesis block, from uh, accounts to zero to four. And block number one, accounts from five to nine, and so on. We have only one, uh, like, uh, like uh, an Excel sheet, so, yeah, a grid, where we fill the information like this one. So, for example, this is the block number zero, the Genesis block. It created five accounts, accounts zero, one, two, three, four. Each account, obviously, has a public key. A public key is, the, is our password to use this account. If we don't have the password, we, we, we are not the owners, so we cannot spend um, account balance. And also other fields, like the end operation, I will explain later, and the balance. Finally, for each block, we will do a hash. That's important. This hash will be stored at the block hash. That one hash for each block. One here, one here. And also a final hash that will be the safe block hash that will be a hash of all the block hashes. That's uh, something that the computer do, uh, can make in milliseconds. It's, it's not uh, difficult. But what we are interested in is in this information. So if now I ask you what is the balance of account number one, we must search hardly. It, it's easy to find. We just look at the save box and we can see that now the account number one has zero pass. And how we add the save box to the blockchain? Instead of use the block hash of the previous one for the input hash of the next block, we will add the safe block hash that we have calculated as an input of the next block. So if we try to manipulate the safe box information, we will change the safe block hash and we will not match the next one. So it's, it's as hard to break than Bitcoin is. And for each new block, 
we will add always five, nine, nine, uh, five new accounts to the safe box. And this is more easy because our operations are not based on safe box. We don't need to search uh, the unspent transaction of the blockchain to send coins from one to another, to, from, for example, from Alice to Bob. Here we have the safe box. I have here, we have the, the name, but uh, in reality, inside the safe box, the accounts are anonymous. Nobody knows who is the owner. That's, uh, here is only for example. If Ali, Alice wants to send 20 pass from each account number that is a short account number, like a bank account, to Bob, we only do two things. Three, sorry, three. First one is to rest uh, on minus 20 Pascal coins from current Alice balance, so from 300 to uh, 280. Bob will increase in 20 Pascals. And very important, the N operation field will increase in one, one value. That's a double spend protection. If we are trying to execute the same operation twice, it will be impossible because the first one have manipulated the N operation value. And this is how I spend or I, I execute an, a transaction inside the safe box. It's like a, like a bank. I think that this is more easy to explain. For example, for non-cryptographic users, how works the safe box than how works the blockchain of Bitcoin. Also, we have some features only in Pascal Coin that, for example, we have a low safe box size because we only create five, nine, nine, uh, five new accounts per block. That increases in size approximately uh, in 100 megabytes per year. The blockchain can be as uh, big as you want, but the safe box will only, will only increase in 100 megabytes per year. Quick operation transaction, because we are working on memory. We have no database, database access. We have no access to, to disk. And we are the first crypto coin breaking the 100 transaction per second barrier. And that was two years ago, just a few months after it started. I think no other cryptos can, do the, can say the same. We have short account numbers. It was easy to remember. We have a deletable blockchain because we don't need the blockchain operations are executed on the safe box, not on the blockchain. And if we have a deletable blockchain and a low safe box size, we can have a new free, fresh field node in only five minutes. If you try to have a, a, a field node of Bitcoin, you will need to wait one week, two weeks, before downloading and checking all the blockchain. Also, we have a description or reference on each operation, like a bank, because we have the public uh, information of the public key of each account. And we, and we can also uh, use this uh, public key to encrypt the data that will be readable only by the receiver. So you can send coins with a description that only the receiver will be able to read. Also, accounts can have a short name, for example, company name, website. There are also operations that allow to transfer accounts to a new owner. For example, I can be the owner of the account number 20, but I can give transfer my uh, the ownership of the account number 20 to another one. We can list accounts for sale or buy accounts. And also we have 
uh, anonymous transaction via transaction mixing. And finally, the SafeBox is cryptographically secure thanks to the SafeBox hash. Well, that's all. I think in 10 minutes I have explained what is the SafeBox to you. Thank you.